Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to continue our quest to find the hardest course on the Golf Club 2. And a few of you have recommended to me Arthur's Pass National Park GC by Stately Owl. As you can see, there's four tee selections. We will be playing off the black tees, which are playing 7,431 yards. And as always, guys, pin selection numero uno. Let's begin round. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, and green speed is medium slow. I just want to thank everyone for the the reception the Rory McIlroy PGA Tour got. That went down really well. I'm actually just off the back of playing around there. So let's see how well I can make the transition from Rory McIlroy over to the Golf Club 2. So 6 wood, 12 mile per hour wind. Hoping this is going to take me around. Very nice opening swing. Really happy with that. <clears throat> that should turn in the wind, which is done. <clears throat> Pardon me guys, and that has kicked on really really well 254 yards I'm not a fan of the medium slow greens guys. I must confess So 12 mile per hour wind I am on a slope It's going to take me to the left. So hopefully they're going to counteract each other Let's see how close we can get this in the firm green six iron It's lofted up a little touch It's a really good strike it's tracking well. Oh, I'm a bit short, but I could get a good bounce here. So relatively happy with that, guys. It is going to give me about a 20-foot putt for birdie. 24 feet, down 5 inches, turning to the right. There's the first controller disconnection of the round. Greens are only 150. Mmm. Not a lover of that with firm... firm uh, Greens, I do feel, ah, oh, I've left that way short. Is it going to find a slope? Just. But I tell you what, guys, that is not the best of putts. I've left myself about eight feet short. Six feet short. Going to turn slightly to the right. Which it does. But yeah, guys, thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel. Um, like I say, I wasn't sure how well Rory McIlroy... PGA Tour was going to be perceived, but it's a game that I, I, I wanted to get around to play and it was only £15 on the store, so I thought, hey, why not? And the response has been fantastic. Um, it is refreshing, as some of you say. So, we're way down here, so 9 iron is going to be the club. Just want to land a short of the green and let it work its way down. Hopefully the wind's going to take us round here as well. That is a good strike. I like how this is tracking. Oh, this should be a Bobby Dazzler. Look at that, guy! Sit down, ball. Sit down. What a shot that is. And surely that's going to give us our first birdie off the round. A little five-foot putt turning slightly to the right. What on earth? Wow. And look how far past that's gone by. Lee, wow. I'm not sure if I'm struggling with the the pace of the greens or if it's the transition from Rory McIlroy I've got no idea guys but that is poor I'm just going to double check this to me that is turning to the left it's saying there's no break but I feel that that is slightly turning to the left so just right edge It did turn to the left, and oh my god, guys, that is a bogey. From a situation where I played a really, really good approach shot, I'm going to be getting a bogey here if I manage to drop it. Disappointing. That's one thing that Rory McIlroy did not have was phantom breaks. I've not come across one yet, so that is disappointing, guys. So I am one over through two. Let's see if we can pick it up here on a par five. Par three, uh, par, hole three is a par five. Quite a short par 5 to be fair, 552 yards, striking the ball well. And that is bouncing over to the middle of the fairway. And I reckon I should be able to attack this pin, this green and 2 now, 296 yards, so 256. Got a 10 mile per hour wind holding me up, that's going to work in my favour, so just lofting this up ever so slightly. And let's see if we can get this on the green and running left. The green breaks to the left. It's a really good strike. Has it got the legs to get on the green? 
Oh, this could be nice. Get up. Go on. Just gets on the green. If I didn't loft that up, I feel that would have been absolute perfect. So a 15 foot putt, 5 inches down, breaking to the left. This is for the eagle. That approach shot deserves an eagle. I need that to turn. I need it. To, oh, what a putt that is, guys. So, wow. We do manage to get the eagle, and that is going to take us to one under for the round after getting a three putt disaster bogey on the second. So, hole four is a par four. Stroke index three playing 466 yards. But I tell you something, guys. This is a beautiful looking course. Absolutely delighted. A few of you guys have suggested this, and I can see why it plays relatively tough. That should work its way down this fairway really nice. Looks like it might turn slightly to the right here. Yeah. So it's a monster drive. 321 yards. Okay, looks like we have around so, 153 left to the green. Slightly uphill. Just lofting this up. It's one thing that I really like about this game is it shows you your lie. really think that's a fantastic feature. I did miss that when I was playing Rory. It's another good strike, guys. Absolute delight why I'm striking the ball so far. Ah, that wins took me more left than I anticipated. But good yardage. Yardage was good. Probably about an 18-foot putt. 13-foot putt for the birdie. Turning to the right. Go on, drop. Oh, just miss it. Didn't give it enough for the break. And that is going to be a three foot putt for par, four foot putt for par. Not much in this one. Oh my goodness. I mean, I even pushed that right. How on earth has that went? Missed that. I, it's, oh, why? This game at times, guys. I feel it's going to be one of these rounds. I've, I've just got a feeling that this is going to be one of that rounds where nothing right is going to happen. This game can be so, so frustrating at times. So, wow, look at that. Bogey, eagle, bogey, and we're back to level par. Hole 5, par 4, stroke index 11, 465 yards. Lots of obstacles on this course here, so just adding a bit of fade here. Counteracting the wind. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot. Oh, look at that bounce, right? Am I going to hold the green, uh, the fairway? No, I'm not. Wow, and what did I say guys, just on that green there, I feel it's going to be one of these rounds where nothing is going to go in my favour, but we're going to knuckle down and continue. So let's see if I can get this AI on close, this 11 mile per hour wind's really going to take me round, this should be a fantastic shot, sit down, sit down, what a shot that is guys, and hopefully... I can pick up the birdie here, probably looking about an 8 to 9 foot putt. What a shot that is from where we were. 7 foot putt, not much in this. And we do manage to read the putt and we do get a birdie. So wow, back to one under par. What a scorecard. Bogey, eagle, bogey, birdie. Very colourful. Hole 6 is a par 3. Playing 210 yards, stroke index 13. I just want to apologise actually about the Rory McIlroy video, guys. There was a bit of interference with my microphone, so I do apologise about that. I like my videos to be perfect or as good as they can be, as close to perfect. Um, and I wasn't happy with the sound quality, so hopefully this one's going to be better. So lofted up hybrid. I like how this is tracking. This should land front of the green and softly work its way on. It's another great approach shot, guys. I'm going to be pin high again, and we are going to have another birdie opportunity. So an 8-footer, breaking slightly to the right. I need to be making these kind of putts, guys. Oh, why? Once again. I mean, I thought I put enough weight behind that to counteract the break. Obviously not. So once again, this says it's straight. I'm just picking the right edge. Oh, my goodness. I even I even went to the right. So that's two phantom breaks, guys. Yeah, look at that. Wow. This game at times is really, really frustrating. 
I mean, I had no issues with Rory at all, no phantom breaks, nothing like that. I come straight back to this game, my first round after playing about seven, eight rounds of Rory, two phantom breaks that have cost me. So, hole 10, eh, hole 10, hole 7, 10 mile per hour wind. I am swinging well, I am swinging well, but as confirmed guys, I, I just feel like it's going to be one of these rounds where nothing is going to happen for me. We managed to nail that 280 yards, so it's another par 5 that we can attack in 2 here. 6 wood, just going to take a touch off of this and hopefully... We can just kick on to the green from the front edge. This slope's going to really take me to the left. More than what it's saying it is. I guarantee this is going to go hard left off the slope. Told you, it gave me a green grid. Clearly wasn't a green. Should have been a red. Is that going to have the legs to kick on? No, it's not. So we're going to be left with a chip shot. That hopefully we can set ourselves up well for the birdie. You never know, we might even drop this. Oh, just checked that up a bit too much. Had a good line. So, three foot putt for birdie. And we do manage to drop the birdie. And we are two, at two under, is that right? One under, back to one under, guys. Why, it's such a topsy-turvy scorecard that I'm all over the shop here. So, hole number 8 is a par 4, stroke index 7, playing 465 yards. This wind's going to take us round to the left. Good swing. I'm really happy with my swing, guys. Despite playing Rory, it is, it is different. The swing is different. Nice bridge there that you're just seeing here. Beautiful looking bridge that we're going to have to play over here onto the green. So 168, up the hill, slightly, the wind is behind us here though, so I have clubbed down, 8 iron, and let's see if we can get this close to the pin, oh I've pulled that left, that is going to be way left, yeah, way left. Took a hell of a firm bounce there as well, and we've actually worked off the green there, wow. So, huge pull to the left there, costly, 10 yard chip, need to get this close, get in, get in, get in, oh my goodness, that missed by millimetres, missed by millimetres guys, so, 5 foot putt for the par save, we managed to nail that. Hopefully I'm getting to grips with the pace of these greens. I just despise the slow greens. Especially with firm, firm greens. I just don't think it's a good mixture. So, hole 9 is a par 4. Stroke index 1, playing 439 yards. And it is the toughest hole on the course. That wind's going to take us round here. So I'm dropping down to the 6 wood. Just going to let the wind carry us. Put a fast on that. Shouldn't really affect us too much. Oh, why? We had a lot more fairway to work with there than what I anticipated. I could have hit a three wood there, guys. So that's a bit of an error. I'm going to have a longer shot into this green now. 194. Wind is behind us. So dropping down to the six iron. Just going to let the wind take me over at the left hand side of the green. It is a good strike. This should be good if it turns to the right. No, at least we're on the dance floor though guys. <coughs> I thought the... <coughs> pardon me. I thought the green sloped more to the towards the pin than what it did. So a nasty putt here. 18 footer. Downhill, break into the right. Good weight, good weight on that. Just didn't read the break. And it's going to be about a three foot putt for part. And we managed to get the par save there. 
So we're still at one under par guys, not lighting the course on fire by all means, but a really mixed front nine. Let's see if we can up the, the quality here <clears throat> on the second nine, the back nine. It's just my pattern has let me down. I mean, I, f I feel I've been swinging well. A few, um, <clears throat> and, oh, that's a pool. I, I, just the commentator's curse there, guys. I say I'm swinging well, and I put a huge pool. But it does look like we've got enough fairway to work with. Just. Just held on to that fairway, guys. But yeah, just a combination of, of poor putts and phantom breaks, glitches in the game. Just nothing has worked out for us here. So let's see if we can get this 8 iron dialed in. That's a far better strike. That wind, if it takes me around, this should be nice. This should be nice, guys. Come on. Oh, very unfortunate hard kick to the left there. Wow. That is a very hard green to attack then, guys, if you guys are going to go out and play this course, which I'm sure you will, due to the kick we got there. But we do have a 16-foot putt breaking to the left. Four inches uphill. Go on. Go on. Oh, what a putt that is, guys. Putt of the round by a country mile. And we start off the back nine with a birdie. And we get to two under for the round. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Hole 11 is a par 3. 187 yards stroke index 8. Wind's going to take us to the left. And hopefully hold us up. So 6 iron is going to be the club of choice for me. Looks like the green turns to the the left as well so we're just going to hang this out more than we would and hopefully get it running up towards the cup that is a clean strike I tell you what guys this could be tracking well this could be tra that's in oh my goodness any other day that drops what did I say a few holes back guys I've got a feeling this is going to be one of that days and it is one of those days, because any other day that drops, that was bang in the centre of the cup. Very unfortunate there, but we do pick up the birdie and we move to two under par. So, hole 12. Oh, three under par. Beg your pardon, we are three under par. Great start to the back nine. Let's see if we can continue it with this par five. Great strike. But guys, this is an outstanding course, by the way. Really impressed with this one. Stately Owl. I've never heard of the name before. He's a new designer for me. Certainly be checking out more of his courses. Stately Owl 25967 is the course designer, guys. But what a fantastic course this is. Please feel free to go out there. Add my ghost ball if you're on the PS4. And let's get this course to the handicap rate. And I think it's 160 odd plays at the moment. So we are attacking this par 5 here. I need a good run here. Just looking to run this onto the front edge. Once again, we're just short. But we are going to have a about a 9-yard chip shot, 7-yard chip shot. Just want to get this close and set up the birdie opportunity. Once again, it's checked up a lot quicker than I anticipated. So no, no guarantee with the birdie here. Not much in this. Just going to turn slightly to the right. Oh my god, it's another lip out. Wow, guys. Ah, very frustrated with this game today. Very, very frustrated with the game and my pattern. I mean, we are three under, but I tell you what, guys. See, if that said eight or nine under, I don't think anyone could complain. It's just been one of those, one of those rounds where I'm getting no breaks at all. I guess you make your own luck, but when you're getting phantom breaks from five, six feet out, very, very frustrating. It's a fantastic drive there. And we've nailed that 279 yards, left-hand side of the fairway. So, 13 mile per hour wind. Why, this is a tough one here. Clubbing down to the five iron. Just want to kick on to the green here. Slope's going to take us to the right. The wind's going to take us right. Oh, 
Oh, I pulled that slightly left. The wind is helping me out here, though. Yardage was really, really good, guys. But another pull. I'm not going to lie, guys. Making a transition from Rory back to Tiger Woods. Eh, Tiger Woods, the golf club, too. Has uh, threw me a little bit. I'm at, I wouldn't say I'm playing badly. I've had a few pulls to the left and a few missed putts. Has that got the legs? I need it to turn. Oh, my goodness. How many of them have we had, guys, that just burned past the edge by millimetres? But um, I just want to thank everyone for the support that we're getting on the channel. And the channel is growing daily. Um, exciting times ahead for the channel, guys. So continue to support it. Oh, what a beautiful looking hole. This is another par 3. Wow. This is a fantastic course, by the way, guys. There's no denying that. 11 mile per hour wind's going to hold me up here. So just lofting this 5 iron down a touch. And let's see if we can get this close to the to the flag and give us another birdie opportunity. Beautiful waterfall. Uh, fall. Far better strike this time. Heading for the green. Oh, this could be nice. Get up. Get up. That continued a few more yards up that that green. That would have been a nice standing shot. But we're 13 yards short. Breaking to the right. Not a huge swing in this putt. If I play it firm enough, this should drop. Go on. Fantastic birdie, guys. Deserve the birdie. And we get to four under par. Four under for the round. So, a really good back nine so far. Hopefully we can continue this. Hole 15 is a long par four. Geez, oh, 575 yards. Stroke index six. Can we get down here on the right? I'm sure that fairway's far enough. I know we do have a wind that's going to hold us up. But I'm taking it on, guys. A bit of fade here, just to counteract the wind. Oh, I've put a fast. I'm still convinced we've got enough here, though. This should bounce out here. Yeah, that should bounce out. It does quite easily in the end. And that is a really good drive. We've really took the distance out of this long par four. 335 yards. Probably still going to be a hybrid into the green. Five iron it is. Wind is going to hold us up, take us to the left, and that slope is also going to take us to the left. See if we can get this close, just lofting this up a touch. Really good strike. Oh, I like the like of this. I like the look of this, guys. This should be an outstanding shot. Go on. Turn. What an approach shot that is there from there, guys. Probably looking about an 8 to 9 foot putt. 10 foot putt for birdie. Turning to the left. Not much in this again. I'm being really more deliberate in my putts now, guys. Get in. Fantastic putt there. And we do get to 5 under for the round. So, wow. Like I said, guys, if that scorecard there said... 10, 11 under, no one would have any complaints. It's just been one of those rounds. Um, but a very entertaining round for you guys to watch. At times frustrating for me. So, wow. Hole 16, a really short path. This is drivable. I'm probably going to have to drop down to the free wood here. Yeah, free wood. Let's see if we can kick this on from the fairway. It does look like it's sloping to the right. And also the wind's going to carry us round to the right. Good strike. Beautiful aerial shot of the mountains there. Oh, this could be nice. What a shot we've played here, guys. Wow. Oh, oh that ball's find a slope that's really picking up pace. Wow. Wow, geez, oh. So we're probably going to be about 45, 50 feet away here for the putt, for the, for the eagle. 44 feet, one foot up. Left, 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 left. All break into the left hand side, but it looks at things here, guys. Yet, so just want to lag this up there and give myself a birdie opportunity. If we can get this within five, six feet, I'll be a happy man, especially with these green speeds. That is a really good putt from there, guys. Quite happy with that. Probably looking about a six foot putt. 
seven foot pack for the birdie. Just going to turn slightly to the left. Just going to put a bit more extra pace on this one. Oh dear guys, it's another, I think that's about our third or fourth lip out for birdies. Unbelievable. Solid. This game at times guys is one of the most frustrating games you'll play out there with FIFA and Call of Duty. Wow. So, this that feels like a bogey actually, I was just a way to say that as a drop shot but it's not, it's the fact we reached the green and won. Hole 17, par 4, stroke index 12, playing 445 yards. Hoping the wind's going to take us round here. Try and cut a bit of this corner. Ah, I've pulled it. I have pulled that. Oh. Fortunate bounce there, guys. Probably the first bit of fortune we've had for the round. Kick this into the bunker. So just looking to lay this up. There's no way I'm reaching the green here, guys, if we're going to be honest. Looking to leave myself a flop shot. Or a chip. Pulled that again. It's going to be perfectly fine though. Probably is going to be a flop shot that hopefully we can leave about 3-4 feet away from the cup at worst and steal the part. It's 28 yards. 30 yards, just going to loft this up a touch. Let's see. Oh, 25 yards, what I'll do guys, I'll take a touch off the 25 yard one. Fantastic execution, that should check up. Ah, oh, that's a good shot, I'm really happy with that. Looking about a four foot putt for par. Yeah, not much in this at all. We're just going to power this into the cup, which we do. And we do manage to get the par saved despite a really poor drive there. So three or four pulls, guys, in my, my swing today. Apart from that, I've swung really, really well. My pattern's been poor at times. But I think the game's done me in a few times today, guys, with the phantom reads at really crucial times. But really enjoyed this round. So let's see if we can finish off with a high on this par. Five on the final hole. It's a really good drive again. Massive distance here. 300 and... Still going, Why? 325 yards we've nailed that. So once again, it's a par 5 that we can hit in 2, attack in 2. I'm clubbing down to the 5 iron here. And with this wind, it's going to help us out. Nice strike, fortunately. The wind didn't carry me as much as I like, but we're going to be on the dance floor. Would have liked that closer, but we are going to have another eagle opportunity. Probably about a 20 foot putt. 24 foot putt. One feet up. Breaking to the left. Let's see if we can get this closer. Or even go one better and drain it. Just left it short, but we're going to have about a, a three foot putt for birdie, guys, that hopefully we can convert. Four foot putt for birdie. Which we take, and we do finish the round at six under par, but wow, guys, our first pass. Absolute fantastic course there. I really, really enjoyed that. A bit of a frustrating round for me, but the playability for that difficulty is a four. And the rating I'm going to give it is a 5 and a favourite. I feel that's a fantastic course. Get out there and play it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. Take care, peace out, and I love you all. Bye.